Welcome to the Talking Archive. My name is Josh Jacobs, and um, I've got sad news. Um, one of my mentors in radio, somebody who took me under his wings 30 years ago, passed away, and that was Benny Martinez. And I was interning with Oldies 93 CBS FM back in 1992, and I'd known Benny from that station for about a year and a half. And I talked with him a couple of times on the phone before I became an intern. Was always very friendly. He said, yeah, I'll play your request. Never did, but uh, <laughs> at least he was friendly to me. Some uh, DJs uh, were not so friendly, but um, he um, passed away on January 3rd. This is according to LARadio.com. Benny had also been with K-Day 1580. He was with KISS 1150, KISS 102.7. Cute 102, 64 KFI, K-West 106. In fact, he was one of the original K-West 106 DJs when they switched from freeform FM underground rock to top 40 for about a year and a half or so. He was at K-Hits 97, and later after uh, Oldies 93, he was at K-Earth 101, as well as B-100 and later, later Mega 100. And then he was at K-Earth 101 one more time in uh, 2007 and 2008. And he also worked at Westwood One. And one of the neat things about him was he right away took me under his wing. Uh, he was filling in for Machine Gun Kelly the day I met him. And he said, okay, here's how you do the carts, which we had carts back then. They looked like eight-track tapes. But he's like, okay, do it this way. And he showed me the system on how to stat the carts so I didn't drop them, although I did drop them <laughs> one time. And I was like, oh, I was all mortified. He says, hey, Bubba, that happens all the time. Now, besides the carts, he had a very important lesson. He says, when you have a drink, make sure to always put the drink to the side. Never put it near the console. Because he said another DJ at the station one time had a cup of noodles during the all request hour. And his papers got ruffled in, in a bunch. And he accidentally knocked the cup of noodles over the console. And the board was out of commission for a couple hours while they cleaned it up. However, that wasn't the worst thing. Years later, I heard, well, a couple years later, at another Oldies station, uh, I was at Oldies 93, at K-Earth 101, the real Don Steele, who Benny idolized, by the way, had a cup of coffee, knocked it over the console, and it ruined the board. But since it was the real Don Steele, I figured, okay, you know, we'll just write it off as an insurance thing and go from there. But uh, yeah, definitely when you uh, when you have a cup of water or a cup of coffee in the studio, keep it as far away from the board as possible. So there was another lesson that Benny taught me. And when I first started working there, they allowed smoking in the studios, and Benny was a smoker at the time. Uh, I'm not sure if he ever quit. He tried off and on over the years to do that. But I remember when they banned smoking, Benny worked a weekend shift on Saturday night. Nobody was there, so he decided to smoke in the studio anyway. As he was smoking, he was searching throughout the cabinet saying, where are the F or the ashtrays, man? And so he said, here, hold my cigarette. So I'm holding Benny's lit cigarette for him as he's looking for some ashtrays. <laughs> Couldn't find any. I mean, I've never smoked in my life, and here I am holding Benny's <laughs> lit cigarette. So I decided, okay, I'll, I'll try to do something. So I went down the hall to the cooler, got a Dixie cup, filled it with water, and said, okay, here's an ashtray. So basically he used a, a, a Dixie cup of water for his ashtray that night. So that was kind of a <laughs> funny situation. But Benny and I hung out quite a bit at different events. I used to hang out with him on a Saturday night shift for about six months. And he also invited me to different events from the Diamond Bar Ranch Festival where he was the Grand Marshal to um, the grand opening of the Pick and Save in uh, Fullerton. And I wrote some trivia questions for him to ask people and give away prizes. And at one point, the question was, who sang Bottle of Wine in Sure Shack? And the people there were kind of looking at each other. And so Benny and I just broke out into singing the first line to Bottle of Wine. And, <laughs> and they were like, we, we, know what, we know the song. We just don't know who sang it. And, of course, it was Jimmy Gilmer and the Fireballs. And then um, Benny was also very encouraging as well. And he was somebody that really doted on his family. He loved his wife, Carmen. He spoke very highly of his two sons, Benny Jr. and Jonathan. And... I remember back in late 92, early 93, Benny was really excited because Benny Jr. had the opportunity, and he did go to the Vatican 
to be part of this Vatican Children's Choir where he'd sing in front of Pope John Paul II and also get to meet the Pope. And I thought, this is so cool. I mean, me, a Protestant kid, getting excited for a Catholic kid to, to meet. I, I, loved, I loved Pope John Paul II. I thought he was, he was great. But um, what an opportune time. And Benny also encouraged me when I was feeling discouraged. He says, Bub, I see you as a success. And um, I saw him off and on over the years. He even worked with the, me, me at the radio station here for about a year and a half. Uh, as a board operator, and um, so I ha- it's been a couple of years since I talked with him, but um, I'm definitely going to miss Benny Martinez, real name Benjamin Aguayo, and uh, I'm. It's a sad day in radio, and um, so Benny, rest in peace, man. Love you.